Hi, good afternoon everyone. Um, and my name is Carrie Backhouse. Uh, I'm here today as part of the festival um, that we're casting rainbows and we're raising money for Rainbows Hospice. So today, please get out your bank cards and give generously. Um, we're going to raise up to seven, well, hopefully over £700, which would be amazing if we could do that. Um, It'd be lovely to hear from you today. So if you're online, give us a like or a heart. Um, so we're in my garden today. Um, so I can hear the sounds of the lawnmowers and the people are active today. It's such a beautiful day. Um, this is my garden. I'm not going to venture too far away because our internet connection, we're close to the house and I need to keep online with you guys but i will give you a little tour so this is our uh, grapevine that we're growing at the minute um and over there i've got a shed i don't know if you can see our shed uh, there's a shed down there and we've got our pond over here um so there's all it's so beautiful everything is growing it's so green the lettuce is growing the slugs have spotted my lettuce now um and keep munching away but oh well that is organic gardening for you um so this today i keep saying this morning i'm used to doing morning sessions this afternoon um we're going to be do, thinking about mindfulness um so we're going to think about the space that we're in um, and sort of how to how to really engage with nature um, by making a mandala shape um, out of the natural objects that I found around the garden. Um, I've gone and got some little bits already, so I've got some flowers at the ready. So now's the time. If you're listening to me in the garden, go and get your scissors, go and get your secateurs and start snipping off some little bits and pieces. We've got some lovely leaves um, off one of the plants. Um, what else have we got? We've got some little flowers. These are off my chamomile, so they smell amazing. Uh, I've got some chai flowers. So go around your garden and have a look at the different colours. So I want you to use all your senses this afternoon. I want you to think about the things that smell really nice, that you could uh, pick to, for the scent. I want you to think, even a lettuce leaf, we can include that in our man, mandala or a chive leaf. Um, whatever you, what, something that smells nice, something that feels nice. I really like the feel of the, the top of the chives. Um, they feel really nice. Um, so things that you can feel that feel nice. Things that look beautiful. Um, there was a quote that said, what is a weed but an unloved flower? Um, these are really cute. Um, and yet we chop them down. They are classed as weeds because they grow everywhere. But I think they're really pretty. So we're going to use those. Um, and we're going to do that. Also today, I just want to say we're doing a little giveaway. Because I have just purchased a new pyrography machine. And I'm not, I'm not, let me just show you guys. I am the queen of tools. Um, and this is my new Dremel pyrography uh, butane gas tool. And it's very exciting. I've just had a quick play. Um, but I'm going to make something really beautiful. So I'm going to put, this is my, how I've started. I'm going to do a mandala. I've got these lovely woodcut branches so for anyone who's donated money uh, to rainbows hospice today they can be in the running to win a personalized little wooden uh, key ring um, i've got some different shapes so you can even choose different shapes these are just a wood cut that i've got uh, but i've got some wooden key rings too um, and we'll do that at the end of the session but we we're gonna do um a giveaway so if you have donated already or you're presently donating to rainbows hospice um you can if you pop your name in the comments section and just say um keyring uh, keyring competition and pop your name in uh, then we'll choose a winner at the end um 
of the day and I will post that out to you. I'll get in touch with you. So do do that. We love a giveaway. I love a competition. Um, and I'll make you a beautiful keyring with your initials on and a little mandala on to remind you. Um, so we've had a fantastic lineup. Marie Hegarty is an absolute angel who's organised this festival. What a star. Um, and she's put this all together in the last two weeks, um, which is um, no small feat, I can tell you that. Um, has I work as a programme coordinator at Art Corps, um, and we do sim similar activities. We do lots of arts programmes and free activities, um, and it is hard work to put a programme together over two weeks. So big up to Marie. Well done. Um, so let's get started. So what I've done, let me see if I can prop this. I'm just going to prop this so you can see um, how we're going to work. So let me, it's the uh, logistics of working outdoors. So if I pop you like that, I've put a sheet on the table of yellow Card. So this yellow is what I'm going to work on uh, to do the mandala on. Uh, but I'll keep putting the screen down so that you can see. Um, so we're going to work on to here. Um, so that you can see and I'll keep doing that. So Let me move that further away so you can see. That's great. So mandalas are used... Um, as a way of meditation uh, in different religions. Um, so I know the uh, Nepalese monks do them with sand and they make circular patterns but with very intricate sand um, in different colours um, and they're absolutely beautiful and they're just a way of meditating. Um, I'm a Christian and I often use it as a way of praying, um, as a meditation and prayer. Um, time and just to really centre yourself and um, really just become aware of your surroundings become aware of what you can smell I can smell somebody's got a barbecue on in the next door's garden and um, so become aware of what you can smell what you can hear I can hear the pond bubbling uh, with the water I can hear the sound of a lawnmower but there's a lot of birds that are chirping in the in the sky loads of birds I think since lockdown the birds have come really come out um, and I put birds in my ears to memorial uh, remember this memorialize this and um, what else can we hear I can hear somebody gardening so what can I see? Well, when I look around, I can see all the greenery. I can see our tomatoes growing. I can see the trees. I can see our lovely grapevine here. What can you see? What can you taste? Well, I brought a drink, especially for this. So I can taste my um, orange smoothie um, that we got from Milk and More. But it might be that you've got plants that you could taste. So I know these chai flowers um, that we've got here, these really taste of onion uh, and of the chives and they taste really nice in a salad. What can you see? And what can you touch? So what is there around? I love them, um, the different textures of leaves. What can you feel? These are really waxy, really nice leaves. I love the feel of these. They're nicer than the thistles that I've been pulling up this morning. Um, so what can you, what can you feel? So have a look at, just really get centered and just think about your surroundings. So we're going to get started with our mandala. So if you have a piece of paper or a clear table, then get it out and lay it down. 
on your surface and you'll want to put something as the centre because we're going to make a circle upon a circle upon a circle so you want to put something in the centre so I think I might put one of these lovely uh, chamomile flowers in the centre of our mandala so I'm going to put that that in maybe a, a cluster of them so I'm going to take them off put those in I can feel the wind rushing through the leaves um, which might be a challenge to see if it um, if it holds fast to the page so we'll make a centre with these lovely chamomile flowers so if you can see so there we go there's our uh, can you see that um ooh, there so we've got the center so we're gonna then make it a bit bigger we're gonna put some leaves you can do it any way that you want to do it any leaves that you've got um so with these leaves i'm gonna pull them off you can use scissors to snip them off and just really take time to just feel them. These feel lovely. I need to find out what type of tree we've got um, in the garden. So let's have a look. So I can hear our neighbours having a chat over the garden fence. Um, that's the way many of us are communicating at the minute, isn't it? So. And then I'm going to use these these little heads. So I'm going to take off the stalk just with my nail and pop those around. So if you can see, and then I'll show you a picture of this. And then I think I'm going to pick some different different things from around the garden. Maybe things that we wouldn't usually think of uh, to put in a mandala. Um, so I'm gonna have a look. Let's have a look. I've got some lovely, I've got some lovely grasses here. I love these grasses. They, you can hear them rustling when the wind blows. So I'm gonna take those off. I'm gonna use these bits in our mandalas now. Over here. You can go as big or as intricate as you want. Just let the mood take you. So there we go. So just see where you go with this. Just let nature inform how you do it. So let me get another one of those. There we go, we've got another one. Oh, I've got two there. I love these grasses. They grow very quickly, but they're really lovely. So we'll put those in. And um, so we've become we've come out quite big now, you can see. So it's getting bigger and bigger. So what else do we need? Maybe I need some different types of leaves. Let me just go and scurry away. Oh, here we go. We're growing some carrots. So I've got the carrot leaf. It does smell a bit like carrots as well. So we'll put the, I love these leaves from the carrots, so we'll put them on as well. There we go. So just spend time making up your circle. Take your time. And go as big or as little as you like. So there we go. I think I need, oh, I might use some of these. We've got these lovely chamomile leaves as well. And these smell amazing. These smell like chamomile. So they are chamomile. So I'm going to put those in as well. It's a good chance to learn what plants are in your garden by doing this as well. Uh, my dad's a horticulturalist. And I am, um, I... I haven't learnt all the names, so now's a good chance to learn and, and do him proud. So, I'm just reading a, 
Oh, yes. Uh, Marie's just posting about our competition. So, yeah, anyone who's given to rainbows um, already or is giving now uh, can enter the competition to, wear a, uh, to win a mandala keyring. I'm going to do a pyrographied mandala keyring with people's initials on it. Um, so that you can have a little keepsake uh, of the festival. So do do get in touch. Um, I'm going to find some more leaves from around the garden. So follow me. I'm going to, um, let's have a look. Oh, these are lovely. Yeah. So. Yeah. We'll get these. I've got some, I've got some leaves from our lemon tree. And they smell of a citrus, they're lovely. So we'll use those. Let's have a look. Hmm. Oh, I've spotted some little colourful plants. Hang on, let me go and grab those. back sorry guys I uh, I've come back with some lovely colorful bits so look at these amazing things so they're lovely I'm gonna use those I don't know what these ones are called but I love them they're past the best now uh, the one that looked lovely had a big B on it so I didn't pick that I'm gonna put them in and they're lovely and then our citrus, oh these smell amazing. I don't know if any of you have got lemon trees but we've got this lovely citrus tree in our garden and it smells gorgeous. I'm going to put those in. So we've built up our mandala. Let me show you. So can you see? So we started with the centre and we built up more and more so I'm gonna work at that a little bit more um, in a bit and I'll take a photo of the finished one to show you how you can do it the wind is blowing so it's against me but if you try and get you can even take stuff indoors that you take from the garden um, but I thought let's have a look at the time we've got a little bit of time to have a look at pyrography and I wanted you to sh should we do something inspired by the nature that we've just seen? I think if we take some inspiration from some of the leaves and things that we've just seen. So, as if by magic, I'm going to move this, uh, this mandala and then we'll swap it with the pyrography stuff that I've got. So, let's see how slickly we can do this. Do -do -do. Ah, uh, need a musical interlude, so I'm switching up our mandala around the corner. So hopefully you'll get time today to have a look in your garden and make your own mandalas. And let's get the pyrography tool out. So this is the cool stuff that, let me get the tool to show you in action. So we've got some lovely wood and I'll show you um, these as well so I've just took up doing pyrography and um, there's different ways you can do it you can get use a soldering iron or this tool is one that's got fire and you just fill it up with lighter fluid and um, if you're doing it as a family you need to be very careful it gets this bit gets really hot um, I used to do this as a kid a little bit as well my dad used to just supervise um, with the butane gas uh, torch it's a little bit more dangerous because there's gas uh, the fire comes out of the side so if you're going to do it as a family um, you might want to get the soldering iron one uh, but it's a really cool pastime um, so I've bought especially to show you um, I've got some little hearts so um, so I'm going to do a heart to show you. We've also got these. I've started doing this one. 
um, and I started to do a mandala shape on this one on these lovely little wooden cuts but we've got this really cute keyring too so whoever the winner is can get to choose what they have um, so we've got different things so to light this you just go like that and then the fire comes out of the side and heats up this part so let's have a go on this so let's just uh so i'm just going to push it down on the table for a moment uh, to do the pyrography and then show you how it works it's really cool so how are you all doing as well it's been a strange old time not being able to go to any festivals hasn't it i've really missed i usually do a storytelling tent um in Cl at cliff college uh, at whitsuntide um and that wasn't on that was all online this year and it's been so strange it's such a good idea though for creatives to get online and do stuff um so let me see how this is doing so it's starting to burn in can you see so i'm gonna write love on this one so let's see you can use pyrography for all sorts of stuff it's really good for presents because you can personalize all the presents um you could you you can even do it on like a little jewelry box a little wooden jewelry box or people who do it more elaborately um do all sorts they do vases um i've seen lovely vases done with pyrography let's do the first l see how that comes across so i'm just applying pressure down with the tool onto there that's our l and we need an o and a b to do love you need to always do it in a ventilated uh, area so outside is perfect for this um, really good good for this um, I did it in our living room with the soldering iron one the other day and I nearly killed myself with the fumes so don't do it inside always do it in a ventilated space outdoors is perfect if you're going to do a bit of pyrography uh, oh cool it's really heated up now so you'll see the difference of the definition can you see so we're just pushing down and then I'm going to do an E. I'm going to push on the table to show you. So, so we'll do an E. So, let's have a look. So, there we go. The E's nearly done. And now's a really great time to be doing crafts, guys. Like we're stuck at home and there's an opportunity to just really be creative so there we go that's our love so um it's my new tool so i'm still perfecting it uh, but it's pretty cool i think it depends on the different thickness of the wood that you've got they all react differently and um, this one's mdf that i'm doing it on and um, but you could do it on um sort of more the traditional woodcuts which is straight from a tree branch can you see the bark around the edge that's pretty lovely so let's finish a mandala to show you on this and um, it'd be lovely to show you so you've got an idea what we can do for our giveaway and um rainbows hospice is just such a valuable cause to be raising money for guys um, I've worked a lot with hospices over the years. My background's working with older people um, and I've worked in hospices raising money um, over the years and doing some training. But I'm even as passionate about children's hospices because for children who've got terminal conditions, um, we want to make them have the best quality of life that they can have. Um, totally and support the families guys hospices do the most amazing work um at supporting families as well through this time um yeah we know that the nation's in grief because of covid but uh, hospices work tirelessly 
all round the year to support families. Um, and the staff who work at them are just amazing and just have this amazing capacity to really look after people um, and just make their lives so special. So really, really dig deep today. Like, yeah, we're thinking of different ways we can do some fundraising for the hospital, uh, for the hospice going forward as well. Um, so it's just, just an amazing cause. Uh, yeah, an amazing cause. And Marie, thank you so much for, for putting this together. So we're nearly done now with our mandala. So let's have a look at how it's gone. So, whew, the fumes, you can probably see the smoke, but this is, I've started in the circle and then gone outwards and then I'm going to do some little details. So there's all sorts you can do. Use nature for your inspiration. I love like, this one looks a bit like the spider's web I cleared off the window earlier. <laughs> so just have a look around the natural world. All the leaves have different veins in them. Um, all the flowers have different styles of petals. Just really uh, have a look at, at the different shapes and the texture. And it's like mini, mini pieces of art. Um, so, can you see how that put the detail on there? So, it's such, um, such fun doing this. Um, so, again, we're doing the giveaway. So if you have donated to Rainbow's uh, Hospice, um, then you can win a personalised keyring with your initials on. Um, so pop your name with keyring underneath. Um, and I'll just show you this finished piece. So, and I know there's some musicians in the lineup of Marie's Festival. Uh, of the Casting Rainbows Festival, so do l have a listen. There's some amazing musicians. I'm slightly in awe of the lineup that she's put together. It's amazing, and we'll be definitely watching back some of those tonight. So I've turned my tool off, and there's one of my finished pieces. I'm going to put more detail. It's a little flower on a spider's web. Um, so have fun in the garden. Remember to use all of your senses, your five senses. So smell, taste, touch, sight, and hear, and what you can hear, sounds. Um, and just really take time out to, for yourself over the next few weeks um, to just, just quieten your mind and have, have a peaceful time. So thank you for listening today. It's been so lovely uh, to talk to you all and I hope stay safe, keep well and um, I hope to meet you all in person at a festival next year. So take care. Bye.